Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador. Today's another episode of Bayani Talk. Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador. Today's another episode of Bayani Talk. And today's this is going to be kind of like a part two of the previous video about following the rules. This is the part two, breaking the rules. Is that how you want to win? Question mark. But before we get into that, we want to say thank you for all our subscribers. We, we appreciate you. We love you. Thank you so much for continuing to support this channel and all its endeavors. And if you're new here, please don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so that you're alerted the next time you uh, a video drops. And that is the best way to support this channel. So thank you very, very much. So again, we're going to get into this. Breaking the rules, is that how you want to win? So... The thing about it is like when I've, I've seen a lot of like uh, a lot of competition. I've been I've been within the competition sphere since 2004. So probably nearly nearly 20 years. I've been to wake off tournaments. I've been to GSBA tournaments. I've been to non qualifying tournaments. I've been to padded tournaments. I've been to knife only tournaments. Remember the cold steel challenge? I've been in a couple of those as well. So one of the things that that kind of just baffles me, right? Is that when a person breaks, a, when the person knows what the rules are, but they kind of, but they blatantly want to break it anyway, because that's how they feel like they want to win. Now we talked in the previous video about how, like, do we want to hurt each other or do we just want to beat them? I've been in a tournament where this guy, this one fighter, was actually purposely hitting below the knee, right? And that's how they want to win because they they are you know they keep hitting below the knee. There was even a point where the the referee literally pointed out a welt on the opponent's calf, which is well below the knee, right? And the guy was still stating, "Oh man, I didn't do that." Who else did it? There's only two people fighting. Who else did that? So those are the kind of things. So and then I've seen like and the most one of the most blatant rules that that's being broken. Is more two more corner um, uh, uh, cornermans. You're allowed to have two in, in a wake off in GSBA tournament, but I've seen people have more than two. Like sometimes as many as six in, in a corner, and and that's just be, and then they're 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 you know they're, everybody's coaching. Now here's the thing, and I, and I'll make another video about this about coaching, but everybody is trying to they have a different perspective and they want to make sure that their fighter wins. I get that. Nobody's saying you can't be screaming orders from the spectator area. You're absolutely allowed to do that. But to go to the corner to be a corner man, no, that's just not cool. And then if you end up in if you end up winning that way, knowing full well that you broke the rules, then did you really win? Now, that might seem mundane to you, but let's talk again going back to hitting below the knee, right? If the, if the referee doesn't catch it, because referees are fallible as well, they're just human beings, and you know that you're not supposed to hit below the knee, yet you do it anyway. Is that really a win? Because again, it's not about life and death. There's, there is, this is not a no, no, no rules, no holds barred type of tournament. There are rules. And if you think that that's the best way to win, then the question becomes, do you really have the skill? Do you really have the skill? I don't know. I think that if you've been, if you can win fairly within the within the the scope of the rules, then by all means, man, you're a champion. And if you can't, then by all means, you need to ask yourself, why do I need to do that in order for me to win a competition? I don't know. That's just my thought. Do you guys agree? Do you believe that it's okay for you to break the rules if it means winning? Comment down below. Uh, and again, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that notification button so you're alerted the next time we drop a video. Until then, my name is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks.